talk about words. I like words so much that I got some permanently inked into my skin earlier this school year. And it's not that I don't think images are important, words are just how I express myself. Like my tattoo quote. The full thing comes from V for Vendetta, and it goes, It seems strange that my life should end in such a terrible place, but for three years I had roses and apologized to no one. I shall die here, every inch of me shall perish, every inch but one. An inch. It is small and it is fragile and it is the only thing in the world worth having. We must never lose it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us. I hope that whoever you are, you escape this place. I hope that the world turns and that things get better. But what I hope most of all is that you understand what I mean when I tell you that even though I do not know you, and even though I may never meet you, laugh with you, cry with you, or kiss you, I love you. With all my heart, I love you. So to me, but for three years I had roses, is an acceptance of circumstances outside of one's control, wrapped up in an unassailable belief in the goodness in our lives, no matter how small that goodness might seem when the world takes from us. Goodness is the part of the human spirit that endures. These words, the words of my tattoo, they're the words of someone who lost so much and remained capable of love. Directionless, unearned love. The story of a person who could cling to that inch, to the hope for goodness for others and the remembrance of goodness given to them, that story confirmed a revolution, a fight for freedom, and a trust in people, even the small, scared people who let evil grow in the first place. In the movie's messy, fictional world, the thing that brought about change for the better was one person's belief in the existence of goodness. When I was in high school, I used to write grace on my left wrist because I liked the idea of needing a reminder of God throughout the day and grace felt like the right reminder. Look, I believe that we can see the goodness of creation everywhere, that even though humans fell, the goodness we were given when we were made still finds its way through. We shine, and there's only so much life can do to dampen that. We get these ideas in our heads, these thoughts telling us all sorts of things, that we're not worthy, that other people aren't worthy, that our glow is worth more than theirs, that it's worth less, that it's not worth saving. I personally have this idea that if my glow isn't muted enough, I won't be taken seriously, and I know that's wrong, but despite what everyone else may think, I believe in love. I believe in goodness. I believe that there's goodness in the world and in my life. I just need a reminder of that sometimes. Sometimes daily. And I had been thinking about it for a while, about what I wanted to put on my body to remind me of who I want to be and what I want to believe, and I thought about grace, but it didn't have the same appeal anymore. Grace should be evidenced in my actions and in my heart, but not on my skin. And then I saw V for Vendetta, and this quote came and it clicked. It was faith and love and grace and goodness active in the world, and I knew that that was what I had been looking for. It's as true as anything I've ever heard in a sanctuary. Not to say that sanctuary words aren't true or are less true or anything like that. It's not a negative comparison. It's just that I don't think that God limits God's goodness to church people. I don't think it would get very far if God did. So yeah, I think that covers that. I would love to hear what words are important to you, what quotes or what words or what images are important enough to you to want to carry them with you for the rest of your life. I'm excited to hear your stories and I'll see you soon.